appreciate the effort you've gone to at Even we're home. All at home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, chance. <laughs> Trying to get Fletch just to put pants on at the yeah. moment. So let's go back. We're talking about your favourite grand finals, your favourite games of all time. Just take us back, indulge us a little bit in 1997 and how much that changed, not just your life, but the life of everyone in the Hunter. Yeah, so 97, um, Newcastle had gone through a lot with the closure of BHP and um, there was Super League going on and um, out of nowhere, uh, we made our way to the grand final. I was 20 at the time. It was about my, well, first grade game. Um, I couldn't believe that I was uh, part of that with, with um, blokes that I've watched for the last 10 or so years. And there we were, uh, Sydney Football Stadium versus the champion man Manly team who had um, won in 96 and they were, they were a fantastic team. We were the underdogs. We had the whole rugby league community behind us and um, it took us to about the 79th minute but we found a way and we got there in the end. And, um, you know, amazing side of Darren Albert um, to sell the game. And Boozy, one of the, I think, the stats that people don't realise about that game was in the, I think it was the 13 ga previous games against Manly, they dished you up. So you had a really poor record against the Seagulls and went in this game massive underdogs. We sure did, Kenny. And, you know, there are a lot of blokes like Tony Butterfield, Mark Lamble, Paul Harrigan. They've lived through that. But then there's a lot of guys, younger guys like myself and Owen Craigie and... Um, uh, Darren Albert and these younger guys hadn't been a part of that. So um, we we stories and, um, you know, the night before the game, we had a really emotional uh, meeting in Chief's room and it really set the scene. Um, then I remember the, the morning of the game, we, I woke up and we were at Coogee Bay Hotel uh, staying there. So I went into the breakfast room, morning of the game, feeling really good about myself. Um, all the players are around a table and they're, they're looking at me and laughing. So I start shuffling towards the table and they push the newspaper across. And there's this two-page lift out on each player. And uh, there was the Knights and it was number one, Robbie O'Davis, amazing under the high ball, great sidestep. You know, Adam Muir, whole edge runner, Andrew Johns, best player in the game, Paul Harrigan, leader, ferocious, Mark Hughes, shoulders like a brown snake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I might have written that. Did you write Is that? Is that you? Uh, my, 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 weight, my weight program hadn't quite kicked in then. And, uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a, you know, uh, but, um, wow, um, what, a, what a thing. And you know what made it so special? The, the fans, the yeah. supporters, you know, what they did for us and the reception we got when we got back is, is something no one that was ever witnessed that will ever forget.